Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what Angelman Syndrome is, its history, causes of Angelman Syndrome, signs and symptoms, complications, diagnosis, and management and treatment. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. We appreciate your support. According to Mayo Clinic, Angelman Syndrome is defined as a genetic disorder due to a loss of function of the UBE3A gene in the 15th chromosome derived from the mother. Angelman Syndrome can cause delayed development intellectual disability, speech and balance difficulties, and seizures. People with Angelman syndrome experience developmental problems, mainly detected between 6 to 12 months of age. Many experience seizures by 2 to 3 years of age. Despite their challenges, individuals with Angelman syndrome have an overall happy demeanor, lighting up the room with their smile and laughter. Dr. Harry Engelman was an English physician who was the first to identify Angelman syndrome. Dr. Angelman observed three children who were not related to one another, but were showing similar symptoms. Their symptoms included intellectual delay, stiffness, jerky gait, motor disorders, and a happy demeanor. Angelman syndrome is usually caused by complications with a gene located on chromosome 15, known as a ubiquitin protein ligase E3A or UBE3A gene. Angelman syndrome is rare and most people with Angelman syndrome do not have a family history. Families with a history of Angelman syndrome are at higher risk for a baby to acquire it. Signs and symptoms of Angelman syndrome include happy, excitable personality, developmental delays, trouble falling asleep, smile or laughs frequently, minimal speech, intellectual disability. Other symptoms may include seizures between two to three years of age, tongue thrusting, light colored hair, skin or eyes, sleep problems, and small head along with flatness in the back of the head. Complications associated with Angelman syndrome are difficulty in feeding. Coordinating between sucking and swallowing may cause feeding problems in babies. Hyperactivity. Children with Angelman syndrome usually move from one activity to the other quickly and have a shorter attention span. Sleep disorders. They usually have abnormal sleep and wake patterns, although it may improve with age. Scoliosis. According to John Hopkins Medicine, it is a type of spinal deformity. People with Angelman syndrome develop a side-to-side -side spinal deformity over time. Diagnosis of Angelman syndrome would be based on the patient's medical history, a physical examination, and any signs of developmental delays. A blood test may be ordered to check for abnormalities with the UBE3A gene. Any concerns associated with seizures, a doctor can order an EEG. There are no current treatments specifically for Angelman syndrome. Doctors use the following to help with symptoms. Anticonvulsant medication to control seizures. Physical therapy to help manage the posture and structure. Back brace or surgery to manage scoliosis. Communication aids and therapies. Microcycline, a member of the tetracycline family, works to increase connections between neurons and overcoming deficits in communication. Microcycline is currently being used in clinical trials so that it can be used to treat Alzheimer's disease and Hutchinson's disease. Researchers are hoping, based on the results from the trial, that this may become a treatment for Angelman syndrome as well. Angelman syndrome is defined as a genetic disorder due to a loss of function of the UPE3A gene in the 15th chromosome derived from the mother.
Even though there is no specific treatment for Angelman syndrome, there are treatments that can help with alleviating and controlling the symptoms. There are many complications with Angelman syndrome. An early diagnosis is best to help create a care plan and focus on the person's well-being and quality of life. To learn more about Angelman syndrome, please check out our resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.